16 again. I'm in the front elevation view. We're going to head over to the floor plan view and start setting up dimensions and parameterizing them to give our skeleton system actual intelligence and flexing capability. Now before we do this, what is a parameterized dimension? A parameterized dimension is a static dimension that has been given intelligence such that when an end user changes that value, it drives the placement of the reference planes that are attached to it. Later down the road, you'll learn to create physical geometry whose faces are aligned and locked to those reference planes. And because the reference planes move, the physical geometry will move and therefore change in an alter in shape. So the key concept is as follows. Parameterized dimensions control and flex the placement of reference planes. These reference planes move, and because they move, the physical geometry that is aligned and locked to those planes will move as well. So let's go ahead and start setting up our dimensional parameters. I'm going to select this first one, head over to the label in the options toolbar, and click add parameter. We'll give it a name called length, and hit OK. Over here, we'll select the two foot dimension and specify this as column width. You'll notice I use an underscore instead of a space. This is a good rule of thumb as well because when you start using spaces between the names of your parameters, you'll get confused down the road when we start nesting parameters and families within each other. Plus, later if you have to do any kind of scripting that might cause issues as well. Over here, the one foot dimension. We'll parameterize this as well and call it beam width. We also already have set up some equality dimensions here, here, and here. These basically tell the software to take these reference planes and keep them equidistant from this one so that if the length dimension changes they move to the left or to the right equally. In the same respect you have the outer horizontal reference planes are equidistant from the dead center and so when this dimension changes these objects move equally from the center. Likewise, over here for the beam width, we have equality conditions for the inner horizontal reference planes. So now let's go ahead and jump over to the front elevation to continue creating dimensions and parameterizing them.